Hello and welcome to the Rory Rama Pup Tent video review. And um, it's been pretty chaotic, pretty chaotic here for the past, uh, well, for the past few years since my toddler was born, but for the past hour or so since we unpacked the tent. And here you can see it in all its glory. And we unpacked the tent. And my Boston gets a little excited over uh, new things like baby furniture, um, this tent that came in a really cool tube, carrying tube, and as soon as I went to pull it out, it popped right out of my, out of my hand and practically set itself up in this position. And so he's been a little suspicious of it. Um, Cedric has been enjoying it. As you can see, he's been bringing his trucks and things in. So as a little toddler tent, very enjoyable. As a dog tent, well, we have a few issues beyond my dog not wanting to get in it. And um, one issue I have with it, as cute as it is, it also comes in blue. Uh, they sent me the brown one to review. But as cute as it is, it's got this um, kind of flimsy, crackly, uh, you know, crackly liner. And a lot of dogs are just going to be hesitant to step in this because it makes so much crunchy noise. I suppose if you put a blanket down, it might really help. It's got, um, it feels, it, it feels like it could be reinforced a little better as long as you don't have a digger. Of course, a, a dog that's going to scratch out is going to scratch out no matter what. And my, my son is experimenting with kicking it right here. So, um, the other issue that I have with it is if I can move this dog right here, you see that, um, yeah, let me pull this little dog out. You see these aren't flat with the ground. Or, or flush, and um, you know, I, I don't know. I guess it's probably not supposed to be flush so that these can sink in. It does have little, it comes with stakes so that you can stake it into the ground when you're camping. And pretty much, he, when, when my toddler, he weighs almost 30 pounds and he gets in it and he stood in it and jumped around and it stayed pretty stable and um, it hasn't rolled or anything like. The previous, we've, re we've reviewed some um, little uh, puppy play pins that, are reviewed, that have rolled when he got in them. But something about it lifting up off the corners like that kind of messes with the stability where you step in. And I think it kind of scares my dog when he tries to get in it. Here we go. Come here. Here we go. Here we'll get near it. So to get your dog used to it, you kind of have to just, you know, tell him that it's okay. <laughs> You know, toss some treats in. And let's see some of the, um, yeah, this seems, it seems pretty sturdy. It rocks a little. So if you've got a dog in it that just went nuts, I mean, it's going, it's going to go and shake a bit. If you've got a dog that you even think is going to get in and try to rock it. See, there he goes. You can do it. It just takes time and then the right treat to get him in there. But, um. To be best for puppies or calm older dogs like I said it's still stable but it just you know it moves and that might scare the dog if they really start bucking around then that would be a problem and a soft crate like this is not proper for them but I'm just giving you a view of all the different sides here you can see that the top is a nice it's a pretty nice um, sturdy mesh it's not soft and it's not um, too stiff it's somewhere in between. It, it, it feels perfectly fine. And uh, a bit of ventilation. And he's still, so they're still not convinced. Come on. Still not convinced of the safety. But, um, here we go. Wow, this is going to be like one of my craziest angled videos. Go on, go get it. You can do it. You can do it. Go get it. You can do it. You can do it. It does come with stakes. It's, it's pretty large. I wish... Uh, Cedric, come here. Come get in the tent. Show, show Mama how you get in the tent. Come here. We've been practicing so long that he doesn't even want to get in the tent anymore. Cedric, come get in the tent. Come here. Come on. Get in. Oh, 
the dogs getting in. Go get in the tent. Show me. Show me how you get in the tent. There we go. So, yeah, look at you. Look at you get in the tent. Say, come on, puppy, get in the tent. Puppy says, no. No, go get in the tent. Show puppy how you get in the tent. Climb in the tent. Get inside. Get in. There you go. So you can see, um, I forget how tall Cedric is. Uh, maybe approaching three speed at this point. Not really. But there we go. There we go. Yeah, so get in there. Get in there, puppy. It's okay. It's okay. Dog's not convinced. Yeah, I don't think he likes you trying to push him in the tent. Yeah, there we go. He's getting more brave. Say, come on, puppy, get in the tent. It's okay. It also comes with a rain fly that goes over it, which is a piece of... I'm looking around right now because I could have sworn that I brought it over here with me. It is um, a light piece of um, just nylon, waterproof nylon, that goes over the top. And I will leave um, a link to my blog so that you can see how it looks when it comes in its case. So there, when it comes in its case and um, what it looks like with the rain fly on. So, you know, I don't know. It's up to you whether this is something you think you would really use. I think it needs a lot more stability unless you have, maybe if you have a toy dog. So there, so there, hush. If you had a toy dog, that was kind of chill, or even a larger dog. So there, it should be about 25 pounds, as you can see, he's overweight. If you've got a larger dog that was chill and just got used to it, you could probably, you know, if it's something you want to spend the money on. Um, otherwise, the stability factor just kind of, you know, I just, I don't, I feel like it's not stable enough that I would put a dog in it and um, not be worried that it might collapse if the dog panics. But um, it's pretty cute. It's pretty pup and cute. If you just want uh, something for your dog to maybe hide in that isn't a crate, and you could um, put some blankets in it, make just a little safe spot for your dog, that would be a pretty cool idea to, to do with it. But I'm in a two-bedroom apartment. Space is at a premium. Um, my son seems to be having fun with it, not so much my dog. And, um, you know, maybe I need to work on him a little more, and maybe I need to use a better lure. Although he sure likes these Blue Dog Bakery. There he goes. Once again, Blue Dog Bakery. Soft and chewy. Well, you know, hold it up, Cedric. Let me see what you have. Or perhaps, let me see what you have. Let Mama see. Let me see. Okay. Well, he had uh, like a summer sausage. Maybe we should try the summer sausage. Okay. Well, pretty much that was my overview. You know, uh, I could see this being something if you had a small dog, a toy dog, a little puppy, and you just wanted to go somewhere to the beach, to someone's house, to a little barbecue, take them out, um, place them in the shade, of course, because it, you know, the ventilation is really only at the top. Maybe I'd, I'd like to see a little more ventilation and a little more stability. And here's a summer sausage. And maybe this will get my dog finally in there. I really highly recommend this as well. All right, thanks for watching. So let's say bye.